Hello, I am Dr. Nayan. You are watching Biodesk. Today, we shall study about phylum Mollusca. Mollusca is the group of soft bodied animals, and you must have heard the name snail, octopus. Here are the examples of this phylum. The term Mollusca has been derived from Latin language in which molluscus is a word that means soft. A snail and octopus have soft unsegmented body. The name mollusca was coined by Johnston in 1650 AD. Members of this phylum are often known as soft bodied unsegmented animals. In case of most mollusks, there is a hard calcareous exoskeleton called cell that protects their soft body. Remember in snail cell is present, however in octopus we don't see an outer protective covering. Phylum mollusca is the second largest group of animal kingdom. It includes about 85,000 different species. And the common examples are snail, slug, octopus, unio, pila, etc. Here are some images of these animals. One of the animals, chitin. Chitin has an outer covering on its dorsal side, back side. This is the cell. A snail has a coiled cell. Dentalium, a marine animal having a conical cell, outer protective covering. Cell is present in Unio also. Unio is a freshwater mucel. This cell is not seen in octopus. So here different examples of phylum mollusca have been shown and in most cases we are seeing an outer protective covering the cell. Cell is made up of calcium carbonate and this cell protects the body. Now let us see the general characters of phylum mollusca. In mollusks, the body has organ system grade of body organization. Organ system grade. Different organ systems are developed in this case. They are mostly aquatic, found in water, maybe freshwater, maybe marine, but a few are terrestrial also, found on land. Body is triploblastic, means made up of three distinct germinal layers, ectoderm, mesoderm, endoderm. Ectoderm is outer and endoderm inner. They are silomate animals. True silome found in them, silome, the body cavity. They are with silome, so called silomate. The body is unsegmented. So, unsegmented silomate animals, characteristic feature in phylum mollusca. They have a bilaterally symmetrical body. In some cases, due to torsion, body becomes asymmetrical. We shall see later, but most of them individuals are with bilaterally symmetrical body. Body usually provided with a hard protective calcareous exoskeleton. This cell is made up of calcium carbonate, providing an outer protective covering, so called exoskeleton. Made up of calcium, so the name calcareous exoskeleton. In them, the body is divisible into head, foot, mantle and visceral mass. Here, mantle is a fold of the body wall that surrounds a mantle cavity between itself and the main body mass. Let us see the diagram given here. This is the body of pila, apple snail. Pila has an outer 
conical cell and in living condition the body comes out this soft body has no distinct divisions the entire part of the body called head the flat foot is on the lower side and the soft piece of the body is called visceral hump or simply hump visceral mass the gill here present for respiration and around the body we see a cavity this cavity is called mental cavity mental cavity is formed due to a fold of body wall this mantle so presence of mantle a peculiar feature the gills lie in the mantle cavity excretory pores in the mantle cavity thus we see distinct parts of the body head foot visceral mass and mantle mantle provide attachment in between the body proper and the cell now some other characters in mollusk locomotory structures are muscular foot or arms presence of foot in different region are the basis for classification in mollusk alimentary canal is complete means from mouth to anus all different structures are developed and this alimentary canal is usually u shaped u like circulatory system is of open type remember open type circulatory system we have seen open type of circulatory system in phylum arthropoda also in which the blood vascular system that includes heart blood vessels and the blood blood flows through blood vessels but the blood vessels are open at their tips means capillaries are open so that the blood is released inside the body cavity this is open type of blood circulation in annelids we have seen closed type of blood circulation in which blood capillaries are not open and the blood always remains inside closed blood vessels here in case of mollusks in most members circulatory system is of open type exception is cephalopods cephalopoda includes octopus like animals in which or where we see the tendency of closed type of circulatory system in them the blood may be blue green red or colorless so blood is of different types in fact the blue or green color of the blood is due to the pigment hemocyanin copper based pigment and hemoglobin provides red color that is iron based pigment in some members blood may be colorless so different types of respiratory pigments are found in their blood respiration takes place by gills or lungs or both the members which live on land and in water both they have both the types of respiratory structures gills and lungs also called pulmonary sacs when we talk about excretion the process of removing excretory products unwanted materials excretion takes place in them by a pair of metanephridia also called kidneys or organ of bozanus in annelids we have seen protonephridia primitive nephridia here developed nephridia metanephridia the nervous system of the body consists of three pairs of ganglia connected by connectives and their nerves in this diagram we are seeing the different organs of the body here is the digestive tract or the alimentary canal starting from mouth and finally ending into anus 
here the intestine is coiled the gills are here and the nervous system that includes a nerve ring around alimentary canal and their branches nerve cords so nervous system and sense organs developed in them the sense organs include eyes the organ of vision a statocyst for the sense of balance and osphridium that provide the sense of smell so eyes statocyst and osphridium like sensory structures are developed in them sexes are usually separate means they are dioecious but a few are hermaphrodite also some bisexual members are also here we shall see the bisexual animals under classification fertilization is external or internal means in some members it takes place outside the body while in some others fertilization takes place inside the body development is direct or indirect both the conditions are there so direct when larval stage is not found and indirect in which we see a larval stage this is all about introduction and general characters of phylum mollusca in our next video we shall see the classification of phylum mollusca so stay tuned for upcoming videos see you in the next one Thank you.